Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Laura Loves Life and Suzanne Strother. We are mother and daughter, and we just enjoy doing videos together during the summer. She is a teacher. She's home for the summer. I am retired. Uh, I am 64. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I am a high school art one and two art teacher, and I also do yearbook for my school. And you're 34, and I am 34. She's my daughter, so. We thought we would uh, tell you about our skincare. I like to watch YouTube videos about skincare because you can always find out different things to use that might work for you. And check out our previous uh, video about our favorite foundations and makeup things that we use uh, on a daily. So let's talk about taking off before we put on, taking off makeup at night. You wanna go or you want me to go? Go ahead. Okay, so what I sometimes use is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. And I also watch Angie Cadell and she uses these too. So that's a go-to that I like. Uh, also, I usually typically use these like at night, taking off the makeup and then after I wash my face and everything, I go back in and make sure I get it all off and use the Garnier Skin Active Micellar clean cleansing water all in one makeup remover and i use that too i really like that it's, and I it's use finishing makeup pads for that and then for my face wash i use the it cost minutes i really like it but i would like to try different things so if you have a favorite face wash leave it in the comments below let me know what you use confidence in a cleanser um, gentle for all skin types Skin Transforming Hydrating Cleansing Serum. And it has the ceramides plus hyaluronic acid and it's by It Cosmetics. And we're telling you about current favorites because you've used cleanser, tons and tons of cleansers over the years, trying to get your face to, your skin to yes. kind of get regulated. And I'm, I'm not gonna, when I was young, I didn't have that many blemishes because I, th I think everything deposited more in my weight <laughs> rather than in my skin, which right. I almost think I would have liked to do the, the opposite because you can kind of fix your skin, but not necessarily your weight is, weight has always been a problem for me. I'm, I don't, we are not on a diet. We watch it. We share a lot of things when we're together. If we're not together, I split my food uh -huh. in half. Yes, you know, yes. it's just a weight and weight management is just constant. And, it, and as hard as we work, walking two miles a day, uh, doing yoga and, and Pilates, and it's still, I seem to be the same size. But what I'm saying is that skincare and how your complexion is, has a lot to do with your body makeup and what, how everything is distributed. So my fat stuff <laughs> went through my body and other people get it through um, heavy blemishes and things and like that. I've always, ever since high school, I've had breakouts like crazy. It would mostly be up here. Now it's transferred under here and possibly here. And during the pandemic, when schools and teachers had to wear masks every day, that made uh, mask acne. So, and I still wear a mask and I don't know why, but I, it, it's helped me for some odd reason. I don't know why, but the mask has helped. But anyway, you know, she's used a lot of skincare over the years I have. and nothing ever really was like, this is working okay, but I'm still having breakouts and maybe that's, you know, after having period or whatever, but I still break out. Yeah, and, and you know. And I drink water. Yes. Water is the cure of everything I've decided. I gave up Diet Coke years and years and years and years and years ago, and whether you believe it or not, I think it, it helps your skin texture to drink water. We are mostly water anyway, so drink that water. You know, save the colas for, oh, I want to have a cola on Saturday, you know, or something. But water is the the thing that I think really helps your skin yes. and, and also help 
you know, regulates and helps with weight control and all that kind of stuff. How I got off on that, I don't know. But you know, what you eat and what you do affects yeah, how really your nice. skin behaves. And so, so there's that. All right, so to take off makeup at night, I uh, use DHC. I said I was gonna talk about this in the previous video. This is a Japanese-based company. Uh, there's a company from that's in California. I order from them three, four, I don't know, two, three, four times a year. And I get, and it lasts a good long time. It takes one pump, place it in my hands, rub it all over my face, get in the shower, let it kind of settle in, wipe it off with my, my washcloth, and then go in with just soap. You know, some people take off their makeup with all these products. You don't need it. I mean, the oil melts it, the soap cleans it. And what cute packaging. And it did. You, th this Very was cute. a, you know, this was a special for the holidays. And I just have it, see how far down I am? I am nearly out. And I will reorder as soon as I get here, but I've got another backup, so I don't have to order right now. But I can't be without this. I have lived with this for at least, oh my word, it, 20 years. I don't know how oh, long yeah. that company has been here. I can't live without it. Check out DHC. It is a lovely company. And it's olive oil based. Japanese people have the most gorgeous skin. And there's got to be a reason why. And I think maybe this is it. I really do. Okay. And another thing from DHC that I really like is their lip balm. It's called the Lip Cream. And um, it, it's olive oil based as well. It has kind of that color. I use it on my lips, maybe before uh, lipstick, sometimes at night, but I'll tell you a little secret. This is really weird, and I should have put this in my makeup, but if I am dry under my eyes before I put on makeup, which is not always, I put this under my eye and pat it before I put on concealer. And it keeps my concealer from uh, getting into the lines, the fine lines, and keeps it supple and moist during the day. So even though this is a lip balm, I keep it away from my eye, but I, I put it right down in here. And it really, that's a secret. <laughs> anyway, I love DHC. Cool. So uh, in the morning, I use DHC, their facial um, soap. And it is a clear glycerin type soap. You can get the little container with the holes, you know, to keep it in. Mine's a little messy right now. I need to clean it. And it cleans like, I mean, you run it under hot water and it's clean. It does. This, I used that a long time ago. Yeah. But this keeps it nice and fresh and contained until you're ready to use it. And the best cleansing soap after this and in the morning, this is what I start with, is soap. Now, if I want to take off eye makeup, I use Lancome's, uh, I never have been able to say this, by Facil. I don't know if that is correct, but it is their double action eye makeup remover. If you have to shake it, I put it on a pad, the soft side of a pad, and it immediately removes eye makeup and under eye makeup and mascara and whatever's left over, you know, after you've, if you've showered or if you've washed your face. I shower at night just because I love to be clean when I enter my bed with all my fresh sheets. You know, I can't stand to think that I have been through the day with dirty feet and get in bed. It's just it's one of those <laughs> things that's right in here in my head and I have to be clean at night. And I really wouldn't mind taking a shower in the morning too, <laughs> but I don't. I wash my hair in the morning. I have to do a bend over and wash my hair. I take showers at night. I wash my hair at night since I eat and I had to get up early. So anything to knock down time, I'm totally down for it. Yeah. But you know, a lot of people shower in the morning to wake up and I, I get that, I understand. And when they wanna be clean as they go, I want to be clean and get the day off of me at night, you know. But anyway, this takes off eye makeup beautifully. And then to uh, finish up my nightly routine, I have discovered this 
chart C, wink of H2O. Oh my word, it's got a little bit of a tingle to it. And I have noticed since using it overnight, you know, I pat it on right under here and use it. It says you can use your ring finger to gently pat onto the under eye and up to your brow bone. I do not use it up here, it's just under here. And it has kept me from being darker circles. It has kept me from being, having a lot of lines. And I don't know, it's just magic. Nothing I've ever used has worked as good as this. So, wow, I, I got out of it and I had to go get some more. I, so this is a second repurchase, fantastic. And then, this has been with me forever, Mary Kay. It is called their Extra Emollient Night Cream. And I guess you could use it on your, your whole face. It's very greasy, but I never have used it on my entire face. But before I discovered this, this went under my eyes and it also kept my eyes from being so puffy at night. It's really, the greatest for my lips. This is what goes on my lips as a mask overnight. For me, I use right now mud masking. It can be applied morning or night. I kind of do it in the morning now. I haven't done it at the night to see if it prevents flat circles under your eyes in the morning, but I will see. Um, what else did we talk about? Um, so you, you can apply this. It's at eight plus minutes and it says for all skin ties, confidence in your beauty sleep. You can apply it at night. I have, and it's great to use it. Okay. So that's kind of nighttime getting everything off. So let's get up in the morning and, and see what we do. So after I use the soap, the DHC soap, then I am ready to put on uh, a moisturizer. I have gone through so many moisturizers. I, I have a DHC moisturizer that I love, but I'm not gonna talk about it now because it is not a current favorite. It will be coming up when I get these other products used. And many of these came from our Beauty Box BoxyCharm. And so I'm trying to, yeah, Fab Food Fun. That's another one we do. And I'm trying to use those before I go back to my love, my DHC, because I've got them, so I might as well use them. But to go back to skincare, DHC. <laughs> and I will talk about those maybe in a separate video. Just, I could do a video on DHC, period. And like I have, I think I've got a, a- I think you did. Yeah, I think I do. I can link that and show you. But anyway, okay, so after cleansing, I do this oil. I really enjoy this oil. And I can't remember if it came from Fab Fit Fun or BoxyCharm, but it's from the company called Pharmacy. It's called Holy Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil, and you do not need much at all. No, you don't. And, you know, yes. but it starts you off really well. It keeps your skin really, really soft and ready for primer. So for a primer, and this may not be a primer, but I use it as one. Also, from pharmacy, doesn't take much. One little pump covers my entire face. It's called Feeling Good, and it has hyaluronic acid, and it's a plumping serum. So it kind of helps you get rid of those lines before the makeup goes on. And then we both have gotten into the IT Cosmetics Primer Oil-Free. I'm not gonna say that it's my favorite, but I haven't given it a chance yet because I'm trying to get rid of everything else. So I, I like it. I think it's just fine. What do you think? I'm kind of the same way. It's not my favorite. Would I repurchase it? Possibly, maybe. I mean, it, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then on my neck, you know, women get turkey necks as we age. And the Boom Boom Cream, the Coco Cabana Boom Boom Cream works really good for that. Plus it smells fantastic. Yes. And there's a lot of creams that work well for the neck area. Even this oil, I, I after I've done my face, I'll go down into my neck and kind of take care of that. And then something else that I've discovered, this actually goes on at night, but you can also do it, do it uh, at the, you know, before you put on makeup. This is from a company called Sensuals, 
It's a facial serum vitamin C. And I've heard many, many people talk about vitamin C for the skin and how good it is. And I will tell you right now, I've used this for at least three or four months and it has changed the texture of my skin. I was beginning to get this funny grainy texture that I thought, what is this? Is it just because I'm turning this age? Or what, you know, this has solved that problem. And so I, it comes in a little dropper vial type of situation. Doesn't take much. I put it in my palm and I rub it on, even on my neck. And whatever's left over on my hands, go on my elbows. I don't waste any of it. Because even your little elbows need some help. You don't want them to be crusty. <laughs> You want some soft elbows. So, I and this is my second purchase. I it came in one of those boxes. Don't know which one. If it fun or Boxy Charm? Had to be Boxy Charm. Boxy Charm. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't find. I can't find it. So I looked it up on Amazon. They had it. It's a little pricey. I believe it was thirty five dollars. Which, <laughs> but it lasts a good long time. And now. I'm not going to be without it. I noticed that the It Cosmetics had a vitamin C serum as well. And I might give it a try. But it's a smaller bottle. It costs like $28. It's a smaller bottle. So price-wise, not very good, you know, when you weigh the two. And this is a pretty good, this is a hefty bottle for $35. And I've been really impressed with this. Well, I, since I travel back and forth from home to this home, I just uh, put my toner in a traveling uh, spray. spray bottle. <laughs> and it is a, I believe it was a Fabbit Fun, and it was the Murad? Murad? Murad. Murad. I think it's Murad. Murad. Correct us if we're wrong. And then I have gone into oils as well, and this one I had here, and it's the Volition Hibiscus Unstoppable Correcting Oil. And I've been putting it on before I put on the makeup as well, too. And you haven't noticed that the oil has caused breakout, have you? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, because I don't use very much, like two or three drops. Yeah. And then I use this as my moisturizer before I put on my makeup. Okay, and another thing about this vitamin C stuff, it has these wonderful things in it. The hyaluronic acid, which you hear about all the time, and Edelweiss, Edelweiss plant stem cells. And Edelweiss made me think of the sound of music. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. It, it's a plant, you know, so anything that comes from a plant, anything that's natural, you know, vitamin C, if it's natural, it's got to be good for your skin. So that is that. So someday we may do a DHC and, and let you know both of us what we think of the DHC company because I use so many products from it. But that is our getting off and getting on um, skin skincare routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I'm wearing, this is from a company called See and Be Seen. It came from our little boutique here in our small town. And I have this boutique listed as one of my favorites in places to shop. This I got at Target at the beginning of the summer. Very bohemian style shirt. Very light and airy. Great for those hot temperatures in Texas, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Wet proof. Yeah. But yes. And very cute. Yes, yeah, very I cute. love those shirts. Target is a place to shop. We need to do a Target clothes haul because they have the cutest yeah. clothes. So a Target run. Yeah, be fun. So anyway, that's skincare. Thank you so much for joining us today. God bless everybody. And we will try to do as many mother and daughter videos as we can before school begins and rips up our YouTube business <laughs> but join us uh, it, it's just lots of fun to share things together we are very close mother and daughter we, we love each other so much and we enjoy doing things together and, and 
going places together and, and just talking. We just talk all the time. So have a wonderful day. Thanks, and we'll talk to you later. And comment below your favorite skin care. Yes.